Happy All Saints Day, everybody. Today, this beach was full of people. And today's a holiday in the Philippines. For those of you that don't know what All Saints Day is, it's a day where people pay tribute to those fallen relatives, ancestors, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. They go to the cemetery. They place candles on the graves and they think about the dead relatives and it's a very special day. One day after Halloween in America, they have what's called All Saints Day. And this beach was full of people. It's like a big national holiday in the Philippines. And they've all gone home. And now there's just you and I left. And we're just hanging out. It was a beautiful sunny day in the Philippines today. We got rid of the typhoon. The typhoon Leon went somewhere past uh, Taiwan. And Christine broke up Vietnam. It wants to come back, but we don't want that. We want sunny weather and it was a nice day today. And we're just, we need about two weeks of this dry, sunny weather to dry out. So it's really great. We're here at the beach in the Philippines. It's really wonderful. And it's just a gorgeous place. And today, what are we gonna talk about? Talk about some of my Filipino friends that were really good athletes. And you know, I do a lot of motorcycle riding. What's cool about Filipinos is that they're really good athletes. You know, like even in the wars past, the American troops said, I would take a Filipino because these Filipinos know how to fight. Go ask Manny Pacquiao, he knows how to fight. But the Filipinos are just, they're not the largest race of people. They're relatively small compared to other races, but they're tough and they're gifted. You know, I do a lot of motorcycle riding and I was motorcycle riding in the mountains here with a motorcycle rider, uh, a bunch of motorcycle riders. And a lot of these guys are really good racers. We did some extreme riding and they did some things that I couldn't even do as a professional. So a lot of these Philippine guys are good motorcycle racers, riders. And if they were given the chance, they would be expert racers. But in the Philippines, there's not really the money and the resources. And so that's kind of a problem. But you know, the coordination of the Filipino guy is really good. And for a motorcycle rider, you have to be kind of small. It helps you to get a little speed not be so heavy, like a racehorse. You know, the lighter the jockey, the better. And in the Philippines, a lot of these guys are light and that makes a good motorcycle rider. And one of my friends, he passed away on a motorcycle. He was just one of the gifted motorcycle riders. He did some crazy stuff that I couldn't do in the mountains right here. And he was climbing, going down this area and he just, I couldn't do it. And he did it, and I was like, woohoo! Because he was small and he was riding a, a Honda XR200. He couldn't touch the ground. And he just gassed it, and his legs were flying up. And he, I was like, that guy's never gonna make it. And he made it. And I'm like, you're my hero, dude. You're definitely my hero. And I, I really think that the Filipino people are really gifted. Somebody made a comment today in Facebook they said Filipinos should quit playing basketball and play baseball because you don't have to be real tall to play baseball and you could be a really good baseball player, a professional major league baseball player. And the Philippine people are really coordinated. And the young kids I've seen in Little League and Manila, they're really good baseball players. The problem with baseball is, is that, you know, you need the equipment, you need the diamonds, you know, it costs a lot of money kind of to play baseball and you need the land and in the Philippines rains a lot. And so basketball seems to be a good sport for a lot of people because it doesn't cost very much money to buy a basketball. And a lot of these barangays, they have indoor covered basketball courts. So they can play basketball even when it's raining. So that really makes it nice. But as far as being professional, it's very difficult for our Filipino guys to make the NBA. It's difficult for anybody to make the NBA, actually. You see the Filipino boxers, like in the Olympics, they're fantastic. And then, you know, the Philippines has really good athletes. 
And the, one of the re problems is, is that the resources are not so good. So that makes it difficult for a lot of the people. But I've seen a lot of great Filipino athletes since I've been here in the Philippines. And the Filipinos are strong people. And the boys are good athletes also. I would love to like build a speedway track in the Philippines. Because these guys, I think, could be excellent riders. Probably a world champion. They're small, they're courageous, and they're fast. However, it costs a lot of money and resources to build the tracks and to buy the bikes and so forth. So that makes it difficult. But I believe that the guys, they probably have the talent to be very successful in that sport.